What is going on guys, Real FD9 here and welcome to the 86 rated first in form Leroy Sane player review. A much anticipated car, Manchester City has been performing great you know, this season and so has been this guy, he's been phenomenal for them, he's been providing a lot of assists and scoring few goals as well. And so he's got his first in form and as you guys can see I've got his path to glory version but that really doesn't matter because his in form stats are translated to this one. And uh, looking at his stats, he's got a very good work rate, you know, with high medium. His weak foot and his skill moves are not the best, so that's a downside of this car. But looking at his stats, he's got a phenomenal 95 pace with 88 dribbling. Shooting, again, not the best, 83, but not the best either. We, you know, he's a left foot, left wing player, so it doesn't really matter. And then his passing is really good, I think, with 80. Could have been a lot better, you know, obviously, but still, it's pretty decent. And then he's got 75 physical. And looking further into the car, he's a good, you know, he's a good car for a left mid or left wing player. Starting off with his pace, as I said, he's got 93 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, which obviously is phenomenal. You know, there's no need to boost it because it's really good, as just the way it is. His shooting is also pretty, you know, pretty good. 88 attacking positioning with 84 finishing and 84 shot power and, you know, 83 long shots. Finishing is not the best, obviously, it's 84, but, you know, inside the box, you do expect him to score goals. And then his passing, you know, I think his vision should have been a bit higher, but it's only 76. His crossing, however, with the curve and shot passing is great. His dribbling is also phenomenal. You know, 88 overall with 92 agility, 84 balance, 81 reactions, 86 ball control, 9 dribbling. The only two stats that, you know, bother me a bit are his composure and his balance. I think they could have been a bit higher. 84 and 78, you know, there was room to, you know, be a bit higher. And then his physical, not the best. 70 jumping with 85 stamina, which is really good. And then 75 strength and 62 aggression. And this is the card, guys, that will make your opponent rich quit, you know. He's the type of card that is, if used properly is one of the hardest card to contain because he's got this combination of phenomenal pace and passing his passing is absolutely insane alongside his finishing you know i haven't took a lot of sh you know shots with him outside the box because obviously he doesn't have the best of long shots so uh, the most of the chances that i took with him were inside the box and uh, he did put half of them in but starting off with his positives like i said his pace is absolutely insane alongside his passing his positioning is great as well I used him on 4-3-2 formation. Not the best of formation to be honest. I think that's played for counter football, you know. You know, if you want to you know if you want to play counter-attacking football, so therefore I don't think it's the best formation. I think he fits the best on 4-2-1-2 formation where you know he plays as a left mid because obviously he does have a lot of players up front. And I think that, that you know that formation has a lot better spacing. But so, uh, you know, talking about his negatives, he's got I think his strength is one of the problems. And then his balance, I think it's not the highest. You know, it's 84, it's not the worst, but I think you know, when you have the ball with him, when he's running with the ball, I do think he's a bit off balance, you know, so obviously he does have a good agility, but, you know, he still feels a bit clumsy, in my opinion, and I think his composure isn't the greatest as well, you know, I do think his composure is a bit of problem. If you compare this guy with Alessandrini, you know, his inform, uh, you would be able to feel what I'm saying right away, because Alessandrini's got this great agility and balance to him, and so the ball sticks in his, in his feet, you know, and he's able to run easily, you know, straight, but with this guy, it's a bit of problem running you know, with the ball, because he doesn't have the best of balances, and then his composure as well, I think, also, I mean, he's not that composed, you know, when the opponent comes upon him, and you can feel that right away, but like I said, his passing is great, and as you guys can see from the gameplay, he did create great passes, and also his ball control and dribbling is great, so obviously, he does, you know, make a lot of space for himself, and for, you know, your other players, and the cars that I think are similar, for, for you know, just as this car, Carrasco and Bailey, you know, both have great pace, but they are a bit of clumsy as well you know when it comes to their you know their balance they have got great agility but their base is a, bit, is a bit weak alongside their shooting so i do think that these cars are quite similar and they you know obviously you can go for bailey and Crasco. you know they're quite cheaper but that was it for this review guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one